So that was more or less a short social media style commercial and I'm going to show you all the things that I use to make it. It's fairly minimal. Uh, the lighting is really minimal and virtually everything on this shoot was is like done with budget lights, uh, budget everything, a budget slider, even a budget lens. Uh, the only more pricey item would have been the Canon EOS R which is still a very reasonable camera body. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a, a short and simple rundown of everything I used and how I used it. Thanks for watching. So to start off, this is the focal point of the set. And we got their coffee beans, the French press, the coffee bag, the coffee cup with their logo on it. So like I said, the camera is the Canon EOS R and the lens is the Yongnu first generation 50mm f1.8 and I used it at f1.8 the whole time. And of course I used a fluid head. Uh, it's a three pod brand fluid head and this also is very durable. It's definitely all aluminum, all metal, and it's been very reliable. I've had this probably for about four years now. I think Adorama might be the only company that actually carries this brand, and I'm not 100% sure they exist anymore. But I do have a monopod, a 360 orbit tripod, and two heads. One pistol grip and this one that I've been very, very happy with. If I can find the links for these, I will put them in the description of this video. If not, uh, you may find them on eBay. And the slider is the newer slider. It's very smooth, it's not motorized, and it's carbon fiber rails, which I've been very happy with it. It's, it doesn't sag, it doesn't bounce. Uh, it's just a really good budget slider. And for the two shots that you saw where I dumped coffee grounds and water onto the camera, it was actually the GoPro. I switched this out, put it in the bottom of the French press, pointed it up and controlled it from my tablet so I could see how it looked and hit stop and start and everything. Uh, this definitely comes in handy for <laughs> oodles and oodles of things. So surprisingly, the main light for this shoot is the Falcon Eyes F7 pocket light. Uh, not pocket light for some reason, it's pocket light without the T. And I did a review I'll put up here uh, a few months ago, and I, I have two of these. I've been using them for a lot of things, and they're just really handy little lights to have around. And I use this at 100% brightness, 5600K, uh, just so I could have everything balanced because there's another light here that I'm about to talk about that is also 5600K. This is the newer RL18 that I used. Uh, I have it mounted overhead. Uh, there's a, just, hap just happens to be that I put an outlet in the ceiling over here. I'm trying to point here. Uh, up in here so I could do that and never did it until recently and I'm so glad I did I wish I had done that sooner but uh there's that and I used that at 50% right now it's I think I think it's 100% uh, so I could show everything because I got more lights going on now than I did for the commercial that's basically at like 50% roughly uh, just for more ambient light more highlights and whatnot for the rim of the cup and everything else that just just to add just a little bit of ambient light then for the back wall here we have the Mivatar smart panel SPL 210C uh, I'll show you the back panel of that uh, but I have it on full-on orange just to add a warm orange glow to the background and here's the smart panel it's an LED with these barn doors four barn doors so you can really focus and that's what I did I really closed it in just for a, a spot of orange and I got it full on at 100% uh, because it was probably about eight feet from the camera so we're good there it wasn't blowing anything out so how I did this was I would position this for each little clip that I did and this is the end clip so I positioned it off to the side off to the left so it would be enough to light everything but forward enough here so you can actually read the logo on the bag and on the cup everything and and the uh, overhead lights just add, I'm going to turn the overhead light back on and what you have here is just the glistening since these beans are slightly oily actually very oily what you have is the the glossiness 
being accented by the overhead light, uh, which is probably about five feet away from here, but it just adds that extra highlight to make it kind of glisten, I guess. And I was able to use, since I used an aperture of 1.8, I was able to use ISO 100. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe and tell your friends. I do plan on doing more of the short behind the scenes commercial with the commercial beginning the video. I feel like that's a better way to just dive into it and then I'll tell you about it later. As usual, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave it in the comment section of this video. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.